This one, this one here is Goodnight Vienna. And that's me sitting on the end there. And that's the pyjama game. Uh, for the pyjama game, we had a fundraising thing in the um, in the pannier market in Barnstable. And my uh, sister-in-law to be, became, who became my sister-in-law, uh, Pearl, um, Pearl Purchase, um, she was in the pyjama game with me. I introduced her to my brother and they got married. Uh, I, I do know all the, most of the people on this one. That was Pam Cullen, Diane Baru, can't remember that one, Estelle Merritt, Diane Luxton, that's myself, Grace Molland, June Hearn and Diane Bosens. Uh, that's in the pyjama game, leapfrogging. What, what year is this we're talking about? Pyjama game, I think, was the... So the second one I was in, Pajama Game, Good Night Vienna, Pajama Game, Oklahoma and White Horse Inn. Oklahoma was the last one, so this would be Pajama Game was the second one. So that would have been 1959, first one in 1958. The White Horse Inn, I was in the chorus, as I'd had a little miscarriage, so I wasn't fit to go in the dances. Um, Good night, Vienna again, that one. Just as a maid. That's me there. Same team. We used to practice dancing in the in the St John's Ambulance place over by Riverside, which is now Flats. Uh, that's a picture of my husband. Yes, my, my husband um, was watching um, the rehearsals with us, with the dancers. We were upstairs in the conservative room practicing, and we all had shorts on. I think mine were quite short, my shorts then. Um, they were bright turquoise, because he always mentioned it. And I just remembered he winked at me. That's something he did, yeah, he winked at me. And um, that was the start, I suppose. That was the start of the romance. Well, that, yeah. Yes, um, at the actual rehearsal on the Sunday at the Queen's Theatre, we, we used to go on the Sunday evenings just before the day the show started. And as a little present, I went into Ewing's, the tobacconist's on the corner of High Street and Balport Street, and I bought a little sailor doll because that's what his costume was, uh, was, was eventually. He was to be dressed as a sailor. And this is the one that I have now. I still have it, a little wooden... Doll. Oh, I loved it because I, I just loved to dance. I, I always wanted to dance. I used to love um, musical films when I was a child, um, the red shoes and things like that. I saw about three times ballet shoes. I always wanted ballet shoes for Christmas, red ballet shoes, which I never actually had. I had some red tap shoes. Um, my parents, um, my father Christmas apparently, and put a little note in and said, I'm sorry that he couldn't get you any red ballet shoes, but we've uh, he's got you some red tap shoes which I used to flit about in and run tip-tapping everywhere, thinking I could do tap dancing. But I did do a little bit of tap dancing in Goodnight Vienna because, ah, the boss I had when I worked in Barnstable, I worked at the Liverpool Victoria Insurance, uh, Russell Sellers had worked at the Scala Theatre as a tap, tap dancer and I only found that out a little while after I was working there. And he would show me steps around the office. <laughs> <laughs> and that is 69 Belport Street up above it used to be what used to be Pokewee's um, vegetable and fruit shop and um, he used to show me some step, how to do the tap dancing steps properly he used to have dancers there it was quite busy on a Saturday night we used to go there ballroom dancing my husband didn't like dancing very much he wasn't a, a big dancer but he would dance with me but um, he didn't particularly like it as, like it as much as I did uh, he was a rugby he was a rugby player. <laughs> <laughs>